Hey, what's going on guys? Paul Tech here. Now with summer approaching, it's right around the corner. A lot of us are going to be spending time in beach, swimming pools, and water parks. So I have a smartphone for you, which is waterproof, which might be perfect for you for this summer. So let's go ahead and unbox the Kyocera Hydro Reach from Boost Mobile. So this is the box right here for the Kyocera Hydro Reach for Boost Mobile. So this is a 4G LTE device. This is waterproof up to three feet and 30 minutes of water. On the back of the box, it just basically goes over some features that the device does have. And as you open up the packaging here, it basically just goes over some features. You can pick a plan, activate, and add to your account balance on the left side. And on the right side, you do see the Kyocera Hydro Reach. And this is a five inch QHD touchscreen display and let's go ahead and unpackage this device here. So I really like Boost Mobile's packaging. Uh, it's very simple, just tear off the back tab and your device just slides right out. So there we have it, the Kyocera Hydra Reach package, very nice. So let's go ahead and open up this package. Now you are presented in the package two pamphlets, a Get Started Guide in English and Spanish. And then you as well have your AC adapter here or your power brick for your wall charging and as well as your USB cord. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side and let's remove the device here. So there you have it, there's the device. All in black in the back there. We got your camera, flash, speaker all up on top. And it looks like you have this nice grippy texture to the back of it. In the front of it, it actually has like this blue color to it. You got your charging port on the bottom there, headphone jack up on top, power button on the right side there. This is a removable back, so let's go ahead and remove that. There you'll see the little port on the back of the case there, which is basically going to keep your SIM card and micro SD card nice and dry. And like I mentioned, the back has this nice grippy texture to it, so pretty nice grip in the hand you're gonna get. And there is your access to your micro SD card and SIM card slot. Now this is a non-removable battery, so the battery is embedded into the device, but it is 2,160 milliamps. So let's go ahead and get the back plate on the Kyocera Hydro Reach here and make sure it's all nice and secure. So let's power this on. So there you have the startup screen, Kyocera, powered by Android. Let's remove the screen protector that's on the device there. There you are welcome to your startup screen. And you can basically set your language of preference. There's a little welcome menu there, an option to organize your space, touch and hold. So I'm just gonna dive right into this. Let's go ahead and jump into settings here and we're gonna check out how much storage this device does have. Again, this is not a full review. This is just kind of a walkthrough. So wow, definitely doesn't look like there's a whole lot of uh, space to work with, but thankfully there is uh, expandable storage with the micro SD card. So let's go ahead and just check out what else there is. There is an eco mode, so that should help with your battery life. So that's a nice feature that's with the Kyocera Hydro Reach here. Let's go ahead and check out software. So this is still running Lollipop. So no marshmallow on this, but still has Lollipop. So let's go ahead and check out, if you hold down on your home screen, you get presented with apps, widgets, and wallpapers. So let's check out these wallpapers that are pre-installed on the device here. So you got a variety of wallpapers here. Um, a lot of it is uh, ocean waves, and you got some live wallpapers there as well. So let's move on and check out the uh, pre-installed apps that are here on the device. So I notice if you swipe from the left out, you do get this drawer on the side there, which is basically frequently used apps, downloaded apps. And looking at this, there doesn't look like there's a whole lot of bloatware whatsoever on this device. It's just a lot of some basic apps that are pre-installed on this, so that's real nice. And if you pull down your notification bar there, you do get this options here where you can have access to your Wi-Fi, location, sound, rotation, and you can also edit this menu as well. So you got flashlight brightness, sound, airplane mode as well. So one good thing with this device, it is waterproof up to three feet and 30 minutes of water. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this unboxing, is that this is going to be possibly a great device for some people that spend a lot of time at the pool. Um, you take your kids to the pool, to the beach, the water park. This is a device that is going to be able to function in that environment. 
So as you can see there, I just recorded underwater as well. So like I said, this is not the full review. This is just the unboxing and just a quick look at this device. So if there's anything you want me to cover in the full review, please drop it down in the comments below. But I honestly believe that this is gonna be a great device uh, for the summertime. And just how I'm capturing these moments of my kids playing right there, um, you'll be able to capture the moments using this device and still make phone calls, text messages, Google search stuff. Now let's go ahead and take a final look at the design of the device here. You can see how from the top to the bottom, it kind of narrows down, which is a pretty neat design. You got your volume rockers on the side, power button on the side, charging port on the bottom, headphone jack up on top. So again, this is just an unboxing and a first look at this device. So stay tuned and let me know what you'd like to see in the full review.